It's time to hop back in our 66 Chevy Suburban and take another Louisiana road trip. Funding for this program was made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Thank you. Our next place, Natchitoches. It was recently named Best Southern Small Town by readers of USA Today. Put on your walking shoes. We're off to explore the oldest settlement in the Louisiana Purchase. Justin Newhart with the Cane River National Heritage Area offers free walking tours around the historic streets of Natchitoches. And hitting the bricks with Justin for a few minutes is guaranteed to give you a greater appreciation of what makes Natchitoches a timeless classic. We're walking past the Cappy Frederick General Store right now. It is the oldest general store in Louisiana, built in 1863 by the uh, Caffey family, and the Caffey Fredericks still own and operate it to this day. What is interesting about what's inside this store? It is still a typical general store. You can get everything you need there, from cooking equipment to uh, hardware to clothes. I mean, they have it all right Little here. red wagons. Little red wagons. You can get <laughs> the catfish fryers if you want to, you know, Go tailgate an LSU game and fry up some catfish. They're portable. I mean, they have everything here that you need. So um, I do quite a bit of shopping here because it's almost easier than going to a grocery store uh, when I need supplies from my kitchen. What's next? What's next? We're going to talk about the plantation uh, culture of the Cane River and what it's known for today and um, how that generated quite a bit of wealth for the French Creole planters as well as the uh, influx of Americans that came into the region after the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, cotton was king throughout the south and especially here in the Cane River region, especially uh, starting in the 1790s and going up through the Civil War. And the wealth generated from those cotton plantations downriver allowed those planters to build large townhomes here in downtown Natchitoches. From right to left, we have the Ducanau townhouse, the Blanchard building in the middle, and the Prudhomme building on the left. And they're, they were all built between 1830 and 1850. Excellent examples of traditional Creole townhouse style architecture, very similar to what you would see in New Orleans. Interestingly enough, the Ducanau townhouse and the Blanchard building still have their original carriageways into a rear courtyard. They're the only two buildings in the city that still have those. This was the heart of Natchitoches uh, after the Spanish period. When the French were here from 1714 to 1763, this was all cow pasture and forest. There was nothing here. The downtown was where the fort is today. Tell me about this Walk of Fame. The Walk of Fame is for famous Natchitoches residents and also Steel Magnolia, those actors and actresses, and also the great John Wayne. One of his movies was filmed at Oakland Plantation. I think that's a great idea. Joe Dumars, Dolly Parton, Daryl Hannah, Sally Field, Julia Roberts, Olympia Dukakis, Shirley MacLaine. We got Just them all. a few of the many stars coming through that edition. Just a few. <laughs> As we're about to cross the street, the tour continues. And tell me about the importance of Catholicism to the region, to the area. Catholicism has played an integral role in uh, the development of Natchitoches, the Cane River region, and the Creole culture here over the last 300 years. It's how everyone sets their calendars. It's how uh, it's what dictates the familial relations, um, especially during the French and Spanish periods. In fact, um, Catholicism has been practiced here since 1760. The, the Spanish priest from over at Los Adias would walk the 15 miles every couple of weeks to say Mass and administer the sacraments to the French. That's how much they needed their Catholicism, how much they wanted the uh, they wanted Catholicism in their lives here at the, the Fort St. John Baptiste Post. Behind me is the Minor Basilica. It was commissioned in 1857. Construction was interrupted during the Civil War and it was finally finished in the 1890s. It took about 35 years to complete. Uh, it's the sixth church building, a sixth Catholic church building in Natchitoches. Most of the earlier ones burned. There were several large fires here in the city in the early 1800s that wiped out large swaths of the urban fabric of uh, downtown Natchitoches. And that's really why you get a mix of architectural styles throughout the city today. 
The Civil War started in 1861, and although the first few years of the war were kind to the Cane River region, the Red River Campaign of 1864 was not. The Yankees down in New Orleans wanted the stored cotton bales that were rumored to be in the Red River region, and they sent a very large army up here to seize those bales. Um, and after several battles, one of them being at Mansfield, which was the last major Confederate victory in the Civil War, uh, the Union Army retreated and it, they caused complete and total devastation here in the Cane River region. Almost all the towns and plantations on the east bank of the river, from Natchitoches to the end of the Cane River, were destroyed. Our next and final stop is at the Prudhomme Rockier House, which was built circa 1790. It is the largest bousillage structure in the United States. Now, what exactly is a bousillage structure? Bousillage is a traditional French and Spanish colonial um, building material, and it's found all over Louisiana. It's a mixture of Spanish moss, horsehair, and mud. That's and quite a combination. Pretty successful? Pretty successful, but from what I hear, the winters are still pretty cold. At the time, this was the largest structure in Natchitoches when it was built in 1790. And this is something you would see on a plant, you would expect to see on a plantation downriver, but this was a townhome. Uh, whoever built this was uh, quite wealthy and quite lucky to be blessed with a structure this large in downtown Natchitoches. And Justin, no walking tour would be complete without a stop at Lazione's, right? Right. Lazione's is uh, an institution here in Natchitoches. They make some of the best meat pies in the city, and that's our famous, famous dish here in uh, Natchitoches in the Cane River region. The meat pie. Just how important is the meat pie to Natchitoches identity? <laughs> meat pies are actually a traditional Native American dish here in north, northwest Louisiana, and people have been eating them in Natchitoches in the Cane River region for over 300 years now, so pretty important, but I think we've got the recipe down pat after all those times. How important is it for a visitor coming to Natchitoches to make sure they have a meat pie before they leave? Very important. <laughs> it wouldn't be a complete trip without trying a meat pie from Lazio's. <laughs> they're tasty. They're, ta they're, they're better than tasty. <laughs> That's the end of this road for now. Louisiana has so many great travel destinations to enjoy, so get on out there. And I hope to see you next time on My Louisiana Travels. Maybe I'll see you out there. Funding for this program was made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Thank you.